Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. Uh, I'm Danielle the Sandwich. I'm here to perform very loud rock and roll music in a quiet library. So uh, all the rule breakers out there rejoice. Uh, I'm not. I'm a folk musician, so it's not going to get too loud. And I'll start with a little song I wrote called Pet Store. because you have heard or seen the film Packed in a Trunk, The Lost Art of Edith of Oh, yeah. uh, uh, But I am uh, the composer of the soundtrack to one of the films that is playing this weekend at the Provincetown Film Festival that is about an artist who was part of the artist colony here in the early 1900s. Um, so we wanted to have this concert uh, as a celebration of, of that movie and of Edith Lake Wilkinson, but also so I could get paid, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm a touring folk musician, 
and I, I live in Colorado, I'm based in Colorado, and um, I think most people are rich and they fly to places, but I drive. So like I said, I gotta get paid. Uh, I've got CDs for sale and I mean, I'm gonna do a little more work before I convince you to give me money. But, uh, and I'm also gonna play some of the beautiful music uh, from the film Packed in a Trunk. But I'll also play some of my originals. I started as a, a folk singer songwriter and, uh, and then just recently my friends asked me to write the soundtrack to this film. So that was my first venture into that sort of, uh, of writing. But this one is, is one that was written for myself and for my beliefs. It's called Evolution. There once was a bacteria living in the sea, and soon that single cell became the eighth who became me. Evolution, don't you forget me. I've been good to you. Freedom for all mankind Isn't it a silly thought To leave some men behind Evolution, don't you forget me I've been good all year Soon enough they'll hear. Did you guys do like a, how do you, how do you feel about stomping? Can you do stomp, clap, clap, stomp, clap, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap. Okay, keep it, keep it up. All of the trees of one growing. We can all stop. We can all stop. Thank you. And just like in the forest, so it goes in parking lots. The birds who grow the beaks to crack the seeds of certain nuts. We're right, so should we be keen to keep an open mind? Holding on to hate is just like holding on to time. boat here. If any of you are like, was that a, is that a boat? Yes, it is a boat. Uh, and this is definitely the first time I've played in front of a boat. I've done a lot of things, ladies and gentlemen. Some of you don't even want to hear about, but I've never played in front of a boat before. Uh, it's only fitting. This is my first time in Cape Cod and my first time in Provincetown, so uh, I, think, I think it's only fitting that there's a boat behind me. I don't live by the sea. I live in Colorado again. Very far from the sea. Just right in the middle. So uh, you guys live in a beautiful place. Do you go, do you go swimming a lot? Do you like the water? Do you have to like the water to live out here? Do you, are you all fishermen? <laughs> I expected there to be more people in like galoshes and with gloves and wearing hoses of some kind, just cleaning fish. But you guys all look like clean. You look clean. <laughs> just as much. Uh, so again, I. I uh, had the honor of writing the soundtrack to uh, the documentary film Packed in a Trunk, and um, the filmmakers 
who, who have known me and my music uh, for a few years now, also chose to use some of the songs on previous records of mine. So this one wasn't composed uh, specifically for Edith Lake Wilkinson, but it's a nice sentiment. It's a song about missing um, uh, people who are gone, whether or not that means they've passed all the way away. That's, a, that's one way to say it. dead, passed all the way away, or, um, or if they uh, are just far from home and, and you're just missing someone. So uh, I wrote this song, it's called Where the Good Ones Go, and it's about imagining where the places uh, these people have gone and, and what it looks like and how beautiful it might be. in the cupboard for something to feed you. I hoped that these words were enough to keep you. But the moon is so high, the stars are so bright, you could be the one that I needed. And when the sun came, you hit the trail like an old cowboy bent through the wild room. And so I carved your name into all the tree legs, and we waited for you until dark came. I once met a man who told a tale as tall as the mountains that he came from. And he said there's a place where all the folks wait And death strips their faces of color Are you there where the good ones go? Are you there where the good ones go? My grandpa said that he wandered himself off into the heart of the forest and his collar still sings the engraves of his name and he chases field mice under moonlight are you there where the good ones go are you there where the good ones go could you guys do me a favor and sing of uh, ways to imagine, you know, what happens after life and what it looks like and what it feels like. I write that into my songs a lot. And uh, should I say something? The person with the cell phone. Should... <laughs> yeah. 
so again, I'm playing in a library. This is my first library show, but I like the idea of playing in a library. It's very, you know, it's very Jane Austen. I don't know. Like my 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 dream mentor is my my role model is uh, Elizabeth Bennet from Pride and Prejudice. So here I am. Um, I'd like to play a cover song. This one's called Dream a Little Dream of Me. Again, I'm a I'm Danielle Eat the Sandwich. That's my stage name, not my given name. And uh, I'm on tour. I'm on tour from Colorado. So, yeah. Uh, and uh, I kind of worked my way down and up the coast. And um, and uh, I'm here in the, for the weekend for the, the film festival and to hang out with my lovely friends uh, while we all celebrate uh, the Packed in the Trunk documentary as well as uh, Edith Lake Wilkinson, and it's been a great weekend. After this, I go to Worcester, Massachusetts, so I don't know anything about Worcester, but I have a feeling it's not as much of a paradise as this place. <laughs> I'm feeling there's a little more, there's more chain restaurants and gas stations. That's fine, that's fine, there's beauty in everything. I need an oil change too, so. This, this young woman has big plans to get her oil changed in Worcester. Spread it around, spread it around, social media. Uh, here's, a, here's a cover of Dream a Little Dream of Me. This is one of my most favorite songs. Stars shining bright above you. Night breezes seem to whisper, I love you. Birds singing in the sycamore trees dream a little dream of me. Say nighty night and kiss me. Just hold me tight and tell me I miss me. While I'm alone in blue as can be. Dream a little dream of me. Ba da 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 Sweet dreams till sunbeams find ya. Sweet dreams that leave all worries behind ya. And then your dreams will everly be a dream, a little dream of me. So I'm playing the ukulele. I know we have uh, one ukulele player, one or two ukulele players. Anybody play the ukulele? All right, cool. Uh, I wrote I wrote most of the songs from the soundtrack uh, on the ukulele. <laughs> That's Jane. That's Jane. She's the star of the film. <laughs> that better be Eden. Uh, I wrote most of the songs of the documentary on this baritone ukulele, so it's a little bigger. It's a little bigger than uh, the little one, and a, a little more, I don't know, a, a able to accomplish a sadder, a sadder, melancholy sound. Uh, turn it up, does someone say turn it up? Good. Um, and so I'm gonna play some, some of the songs from the new album now. Uh, the new album is called The Drawing Back of Curtains, and again, it's the soundtrack to this documentary film. Uh, the film is about, have any of you seen the film? Could I have a, good, good, good. So you know, the film is about an artist who uh, studied here in Provincetown, uh, as well as New York City, and she was from West Virginia, and she was um, a very prolific, painted uh, a lot, and thrived here until she was mysteriously put away into an insane asylum and uh, she spent the last 30 years of her life there. 
uh, until she passed away. And so the movie is about uh, finding out the mysteries, trying to answer some of the questions, and showing her art to the world, including bringing it back here to Provincetown. So here's a song called Morning Glories. And this one is, a, is about artists and the way we choose to live our lives. And sometimes we be crazy, sometimes we be foolish, but you know we always be colorful. <laughs> All the glowing are morning glories and all the petals to fall. All the flowing are roads to freedom and all the fools who sought. I am one of those who became someone brave in the face of the storm. I am one of those who was waiting to hold the weight of the world. All the rolling highways scattered with flitter and with longing. All the cursive of your wording, uh, it left a certain haunting. Well, I am one of those who became someone brave in the face of the storm. I am one of those who was waiting to hold the weight of the world. Who became someone brave in the face of the storm? I am one of those who was waiting to hold the weight of the world. And it's a growing garden, it's an open drawer. It hits you like the crash of the feet tapping happy on the floors. All the mirrors that reminded the shattered at the frame. All the risers stacked with voices of all the morning glories. I am one of those who became someone brave in the face of the storm. I am one of those who was waiting to hold the weight of the world. I am one of those who became someone brave in the face of the storm. I am one of those who was waiting to hold the weight of the world. sounds really great in here. Uh, thanks to Matt Clark, uh, who kind of runs the library, and for, to the Robinson Library, for to this boat. Thank you most of all to this boat. Uh, uh, I'm Daniel Ate the Sandwich again. Here's the story behind the name, guys. There's not really a great story. I just thought of it. Which I hope you guys as artists can realize. Sometimes we have incredible and powerful sources of inspiration, and other times we just kind of like pull stuff out of our butts, right? <laughs> Artists who pull stuff out of their butts, right? It happens, it happens. Uh, but luckily we're artists, so everything we do, people are like, oh wow, that must have come from a great place, like where you were in college and you ate a sandwich, and your friend was like, did you eat the sandwich? And I was like, I ate the sandwich. There's no story like that, guys. I just thought of it. I was alone and I thought of it. And I think sandwiches are beautiful because they're colorful. They come in many different shapes and sizes. They can be fancy. Uh, they can be simple, uh, you know, from all different countries and backgrounds. So it's just really, it's, a, it's, a different, it's diversity, it's diversity. Uh, uh, so uh, again, uh, here's a new, another one of the songs from, um, from the soundtrack. Since a lot of you have seen it, uh, I don't know if you like this, but it's kind of fun to pick out the moments when you heard the songs. And this is a, a song called Coming Back Down, which is a song uh, the filmmakers used in the scene where uh, Jane and Tess are walking through the graveyard trying to find Edith Lake Wilkinson's headstone. And uh, they see the deer. And, uh, I won't, I should just like tell everybody. <laughs> and here's what happens in the movie. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
And, uh, and so uh, it's a really beautiful and, and like heavy, heavy scene. Uh, and this song's called Coming Back Down. Free as a bird It's like the wind I'm doing my best Just to stay standing But it's a long way Nice touch, uh, Cape Cod. Very nice touch. <laughs> you had your little charming fairies pull that one off, right? Like, oh, she's here from Colorado. Let's pull out like the most beautiful stops. We'll have an incredible sunset on Wednesday, and uh, like when she's like playing one of her songs, we'll just have the church bells go off, so she'll just be completely charmed. Your your tourism board is a okay. You guys are doing great. Uh, I love it here. <laughs> like you, guys, you guys either knew it was a joke and were very, you were, you were not interested, <laughs> or you didn't know it, or it was the most hilarious thing you've ever heard, you just didn't realize it was a joke, so it happens all the time. It's one or the other. It has nothing to do with whether or not what I'm saying is funny. It's all on you. Because I'm always funny. It's, it's up to me to make my choice. Uh, so I called the album The Drawing Back of Curtains. Um, even though the film is called Packed in a Trunk, which is kind of confusing when you think about it. But I named it after a song that I wrote, I wrote called The Drawing Back of Curtains. And I think of, of the act of drawing back of curtains. It's like to reveal the truth, to scrape away the layers, uh, to give justice, and um, to, to be seen. So this song is called The Drawing Back of Curtains. And, and I chose it for the, for the title of the CD again, just because what the, what the movie accomplishes is uh, letting Edith, like Wilkinson, be seen again and, and 
given a bit of glory uh, that she deserved all along and, and didn't get until uh, now. So um, this is it, The Drawing Back of Curtains by the always hilarious Daniel <laughs> <laughs> social media and I would like to take a photograph with you, the audience. Uh, we call this the selfie and uh, I will post it online so if you don't want your face to be seen on my Facebook page, just flip off the camera. Or you know, you can hide your face and flip off the camera. It's up to you. So everyone look like this is the best thing that's ever happened to them. Wow, just a lot of passion and power. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that my bangs are bobby pinned back, you guys. I just got bangs. Shall I release the hounds? Yeah. Can I can I get kind of like a boom? A tick, a boom. It's the afternoon in a library. What's the sexiest thing that could happen? She's gonna take the bobby pin out and release the hound. And release the hound. Okay, that's it. That's a good one. Uh, <laughs> Not a sorry 
chest. Okay. Yeah, they look fine. They look fine. I'm still not quite used to them where I just assume they look terrible at all times, but thank you for not <laughs> screaming in horror. Do you want to do a selfie with your bangs down? Should I? Yeah. yeah. Barbara said it. You blame her. You blame her. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the best concert you've ever had. <laughs> So, back to the job, back to the job. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for filling this library with love uh, for me and for Edith Lee Wilkinson. Thanks again to the library for having us. Um, our, our, our film, The Packed in a Trunk uh, documentary, has already shown two times this weekend, but it will premiere on HBO, the channel, the TV channel, July 20th. So, uh, there are opportunities to see it. To see it. There's also a website, packedinatrunk.com. There's a Facebook page, so if you have not yet seen the movie, you can check it out in all these uh, all these spaces on the imaginary internet um, or watch it on HBO. It's a great movie. And uh, this next song is also from the soundtrack. This one's called Caught in a Moment. Uh, I think it might be one of my favorites. You, you know, you say that about all your kids, but uh, I wrote this song as a uh, Caught in a Moment, kind of like. The idea of going crazy, uh, our, our artist that the film is about, she did, she was uh, locked away to an institution and we don't know um, exactly uh, what what illness she had or what she suffered through, but um, the kind of, I thought of, I thought of a person locked away, running through the same thoughts, just kind of um, repetitive and obsessive thoughts. And so this song is kind of about that. Uh, Running through the running through the mundane and getting caught in a pattern that's that's not a positive pattern, and then um, breaking free and realizing that some things you know for sure. Kind of like if, if people are holding you down, and and you're being broken and broken constantly, you can still kind of inside of your heart know know a few things for certain, and no one can ever take that away from you. So, uh, caught in a moment by the always hilarious Daniel like this <laughs> See it. 
So I have CDs for sale if you like what you hear. We've got the soundtrack to the documentary film and uh, some of my previous albums and a bunch of other junk that uh, you'll have to look at to see if it's worth it. I don't need to take the, take the time to explain it. But I also have a tip jar. Um, this, is a, this was a, advertised as a free concert, so if you're here to hear uh, free music, I so appreciate you being here. But if you like it enough to uh, give me some of your hard-earned money, we've got a tip jar right here. Maybe Barbara, would you mind passing that around? Yeah, passing it around, because if you put it in your faces, if you put it in the faces of kind people, they feel more obligated. You can just pass it, I don't think you need to walk with it. Yeah. yeah. So while I do that, I'll play a song. You stuff it in. You take, you take the cash and you stuff it in the box. Uh, thanks, Michelle. No coins, please. What if they're gold? The change makes us nervous. What if they're gold? I will take change, but it is an insult at the end of the night. I some pennies in there. Okay. So while you guys uh, get out all your hard earned money, give it to me. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to play a song called You Were My Home, which is a love song I wrote uh, for Edith Lake Wilkinson in Provincetown, Massachusetts. This is a place where she, uh, she studied art and uh, one of the places she lived and loved. And uh, I wrote this song imagining her locked away and looking out the window and dreaming, dreaming of being in a place that was more suited to her heart and, and everything she was. So this is a love song for her. Uh, it's called You Are My Home by the always hilarious Dana Desage. You were my home. Only 
spot. This is uh, the first time I've been here and um, it's a really cool part of the world. You guys made the right choice uh, mm -hmm. to live here and um, be part of this community. It's beauty, beautiful looking and beautiful feeling and that has to do with your bodies. You know what I mean, don't you think? It's the people yeah. who kind of, like you could live in, okay, how much does it cost? Because I think that's going to be an issue for me to live here too. <laughs> this nice woman says you could live here too. You can live in Colorado. <laughs> it's not even cheap. Is it cheap to live anywhere these days anymore? No. You might as well live somewhere beautiful. Uh, so yeah, I'm moving in with Jim. I think I'm gonna <laughs> uh, and I'm going to be living in his basement, and he will not know for three months. For three months, and then he's going to go down there uh, to get some more canned goods, and he's going to say, what are you doing here? And he's going to say, Jim. <laughs> he's going to say, where's my canned sandwich? Uh, see, that's not a real thing, Jim. Uh, so I might play for about 10 more minutes, and um, I think I'm going to play uh, another cover song. Does, does that sound all right to you guys? Yeah. yeah. This song's called Can't Help Falling in Love With You. It's an Elvis Presley tune. Wise men say only fools rush but I can tell falling in love with you should I stay would it be And then it's like, if you don't think about it, it usually happens. Love, love, like a river flows surely to the sea, darling, so it goes. Don't think about it, you just remember how to do it. Kind of like driving. 
I just like to fall asleep. You know? like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I drive a lot. I just got a new car, and I've already put 6,000 miles on it. I've owned it for about a, a month. I got it on May 8th, so a month and 10 days, something like that. Uh, and I put 6,000. I need an oil change, like I told you earlier. I knew I could trust you, so I told you I needed an oil change. Uh, and... Uh, Oh, my old car just got too many miles. Got too many miles. I think what, what Barbara was hinting at is that I wrote a love song for my car. Um, it's just a song about being old friends and, and having adventures and getting into trouble and getting in, into to great memories together. Uh, and I won't play it today. But thank you. It's up on YouTube. It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Buddy the cat. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna perform a song that I wrote for my friend's cat And then I'm gonna perform a very sad and serious song that I wrote about God and my grandma so, But first the cat song uh, So the filmmakers of the movie packed in the trunk own a, a very nice cat named Buddy uh, And he's the kind of cat that will like look at you and then if you look at him, he's like oh this but he's very sweet, and one day when I was staying at their house, he came a little closer and a little closer into my bedroom. We were bonding. This is what you do with cats, right? And I think he finally started to trust me, but it was because I was singing this song to lure him in. And it goes like this. I need a good snap. This is not another song about the sexiness of my bangs. It goes like this. Two, one, two, three, four. Buddy, the cat, ain't nothing wrong with that. Buddy the cat, ain't nothing wrong with that. Sing it if you know it. Buddy the cat, ain't nothing wrong with that. Buddy the cat, ain't nothing wrong with that. That's good, that's good. That's so there you go. <laughs> Maxine, you better have put at least $20 into the search. <laughs> she said she did, good. <laughs> and so now here's a song about, uh, about, about God and my grandma. This song is featured in the film. Uh, it's from a previous album of mine, but it's called The Have Nots, and it was used in the trailer for the film, as well as uh, a gallery scene when uh, Edith has a show. Down, is that a spoiler? I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, she has a show at the Larkin Gallery, and uh, it's, it plays during that part of the movie. And this is about uh, about how I, I, I wander the earth and search for answers for all types of things. Uh, even though my grandma, who is a conservative Christian woman living in Nebraska, she knows she knows what, what she wants and what she needs, uh, but we differ. So here's a song called The Have Nots. back and tell stories of places so wide and so warm the all along she and her maker is calling her home and when I was young I learned Martin Luther the words to the wall, but I never met that person who sang for, I never asked who he was, all the machines are still spinning, late in the night while I sleep. Grandma knows where she's going. Me, I have no idea. But I give my body to science. I felt the push and the pull. I closed my eyes in defiance and I won. All of the machines are still spinning. Late 
in the night while I sleep. My grandma knows where she's going, and me, I have no idea. Just trying to find what I'm searching for. I am not writing these things to be difficult. I am just giving them up as an offering. I am not writing these things to be difficult. I am just trying to find what I'm searching for. I am not writing things to be difficult. I'm just giving them as an offering. And how could it be so easy for you and so hard for me? The ones who occur in the morning Got my body so frail and so warm. But all along she knew where her maker was calling her home. All the machines are still spinning late in the night while I sleep. My grandma knows where she's going, and me, I have no idea. I started writing on the guitar, and then I found the ukulele, and I, uh, I loved it much better. <laughs> but I still like to go back to the guitar occasionally. This is what it's going to sound like when I sing and play at the same time. It's good levels? Yeah. Cool. So uh, thanks again to Matt, the one standing on the table uh, in the library. He allowed us to uh, have the concert, and he did a great job of printing out posters and helping promote the show. And thanks for letting us in your beautiful spot. Thanks to the Proud Sound Library for allowing it. Thanks for you. Thanks for you. Thanks to you for coming to this place to hear the songs. This is another one from the film. It's called What I Needed, and it's, it's about kind of wanting something that going through anything to get the thing you want. Even if it kicks, kick, kicks your arm a little bit. What I needed. All the fragments of the fields and the water we all its arms all over me. Here I am, a human being with the gift of making difficult seem easy. To do what you can do, what you want with me, what, what I needed. Here I am, on 
two feet Just parting water even farther than I need All the layers and the lines Tracing out the curves of moments you are mine Do what you can do This is a beautiful space. It's a lovely day. Thank you for choosing to come here to listen to me sing songs that I love. We've got CDs for sale, uh, the soundtrack to the documentary film, which is Packed in a Trunk. There's a website for the film, packedinatrunk.com. I have a website for my musical project. Again, it's called Daniel Ate the Sandwich, and I'm easy to find at danielatethesandwich.com. You can even just type in Daniel Sandwich to the internet, <laughs> and usually you'll come across something I've done with a sandwich. Um, there are a few options. That was kind of like, like a perverted sex joke. But it's a library, so it's a library and it's the afternoon. So I'll save those for later. Um, uh, and, and what else did I want to say? Oh, yeah. If, if you want to take a picture, if you took a picture and you haven't to post it, please tag me in it. I'd love to look at myself online later. Later, <laughs> right, just when I'm feeling lonely. Wow. Wow, there I am. Uh, so thank you for being here. And uh, thank you for being kind. This last song is kind of a fun one to leave you with. It's, it's called We Are Hot Dogs. And it's a, a nice little love song. So thanks again. Twisting and turning. We are hot dogs. Twirling on top of gas station grills. Made from the skin and bones of pig, we listen softly and we simmer in the heat. Make it, make it. <laughs> we roll side by side, our shoulders touch, use ketchup and mustard to cover us up. And I can't recall feeling but of it. Summer slowed down to speed up my pulse. We wandered sidewalks and moonlight held us. We sat on benches and we sang our songs. We stayed up all night and then we went home. And I can't. Call feeling better than this. We stood on concrete, strangers saw us, and they said in our eyes we looked in love. And I can't recall feeling better than so it and sour, a rough and a ripe Flavors tasted on summer nights And I can't recall feeling better than this I've got ten fingers and I have ten toes. You're softly sweeping 
my neck and my nose Twisting and turning Though we are hot dogs Twirling on top of blankets too hot And I can't recall the feeling that I'm the honest.